What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Phil. Got Sam with me as usual. Hey, guys. What's up? Welcome back. We're doing something very, very different today. Yes, yeah, so we're doing Freddie Mercury and Montserrat Caballé, who is a Spanish opera singer. That's correct. Yes. And uh, very unique fusion is what I was yeah. alluding to between, you know, rock frontman, legendary Freddie Mercury, but not known as an operatic singer. And obviously Montserrat Caballé is no. uh, a Spanish singer. So that's cool that's going to be performing some opera on the same song as Freddie Mercury, apparently. That's yeah. pretty wild. This will be very interesting. From the album of Barcelona, and I, I assume this is a collaborative album between the two of them as a whole, and uh, so that must mean that there's more of these performances out there. I think Barcelona, there's a self-titled track of Barcelona on the album Barcelona, so you guys can let us know if that's another performance worth checking out, because I did see it pop up on YouTube, and uh, I thought, you know, Queen, we've loved Queen, we've loved Freddie yeah, Mercury. Yeah, absolutely love that, so. You know, but... Um, there's you know a limit on the live performances that are going to be out there so uh, i came across this one i was like oh great we can do more freddie mercury yeah. live let's do that and, and i love his live presence and energy so. stage presence is almost mm -hmm. unmatched you could say yeah anyways guys if you enjoy the video you know what to do hit the like button leave us a comment give us some insights if you want to come alongside us on this journey we drop, we drop music comedy sports and history we'd love to have you alongside us by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell never hurts either yes. all right Without further ado, let's get into some more Freddie Mercury and let's get introduced to Malsara Caballé for the first <laughs> time. When all the salt is taken from the sea, I stand dethroned, I'm naked and I breathe. Snazzy your looking. finger points so savagely Ooh. Is anybody there to believe in me? To hear my plea and wow. take care oh, oh, oh. How can I go on from day to day? here i almost forgot that we've got to hit a pause for all those copyright purposes but um i was so engaged and enthralled with this performance here this mind-blowing talent that we have on the stage yeah this is crazy and i feel like although they're very different they complement each other very nicely yeah i mean 
it's i mean we didn't even mention the uh, we, we're talking about two of them but look at the background here right this backdrop oh, yeah, of, this whole like orchestra there yeah so. incredible that's incredible seeing that and then you know as you said the compliments are there and i mean freddie just sounds fantastic you know we've we've experienced that before mm -hmm. we've been blown away by freddie before but um, every time we come back to him, I'm always impressed with his capabilities as a vocalist. You know, especially it's, live. Like, yeah, he just has, never has any drop off. He's so sensational. And then that said, though, it kind of highlights the capabilities of Masara here because, you know, she's overpowering Freddie in such a, a you know sensational way, and it's not taking away anything from Freddie. Yeah, but no. it just shows how crazy of a soprano she is oh, it's yeah. just her vocal wild. capability and strength is just like mind-blowing i also really like this part where she's doing her soprano vocal and then he's basically coming in and almost echoing what she's saying mm -hmm. and a very like almost low like not a whisper but like a very low kind of melodic like tone mm -hmm. and kind of like you know because i feel like when sopranos sing like that it sounds angelic sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what they're saying mm -hmm. so i feel like he's then coming in and kind of echoing it and almost bringing in that like offset of a little bit more of like a masculine element but also a little bit more like clarity to know specifically what she just said yeah and it's it's obviously you know we know freddie is predominantly a rock vocalist and um you know it's very cool how they complement as you're saying from this operatic feel to his vocal mm -hmm. both really strong vocalists but unique in their own way, and they just mesh together so, so nicely. Yeah, and they're looking spiffy. Right, let's keep earrings. That is a one-of-a-kind performance, that's for sure. Yeah, it was awesome. Find my head is you enjoyed that? Yeah, I did. I thought it was really cool. Very unique, and like we said, like I didn't really know what to expect, but like or like how to see that coming together. But you know, they did a beautiful job at, at bringing both of their talents and bringing it together to really complement each other. Yeah, and uh, the composition as a whole was very cool. Um, the transitions in and out between each other, then they come, they come together, even holding hands at the end there, um, conveying the emotion on such an you know a high level. Talked about the orchestral orchestral elements, but you really had that soaring feel coming towards the mm -hmm. end. Um, the visuals in the background were also yeah, really the really fountains. cool. Yeah. 
Now, the only question I have is I didn't see any microphones. They weren't holding any microphones. I didn't see any on their face. Um, so I don't know how that all played out in terms of the recording process. And I would yeah. be curious to know that. Um, maybe they did have it somewhere on their clothes, but it was just really yeah, hidden. like a pinned kind of one. Yeah, but the quality sounded great. So I don't know if this was, you know, they did it live and they dubbed it over later on. I have no idea. Sometimes that happens, but that's one curiosity I do have. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, very, very cool to see Freddie branch out and do something different as well yeah. from an artistic standpoint. I mean, also too, right? Like Queen did amazing. So it's like he could have just stayed in his comfort zone and did his own thing and stuck there. But he decided to go out and do something completely different, which is admirable in my opinion. And for him, it may have been a privilege to work with somebody. We don't, we're not familiar with Montserrat Caballé, but she is a renowned Spanish opera singer. So maybe from his standpoint, he was feeling very privileged to be able to work yeah. with somebody like her who, like I said, we don't know much about her, but maybe she's very renowned in her field. And as an artist, you know, when you're working in the music industry and you're, you're looking at somebody as talented as she is and you're like, I wish I could sing like her. Meanwhile, everybody else is saying, I wish I could sing like Freddie. <laughs> yeah. So it travels, right. you know, down the line and, and, uh, you know, be interested to know if that was a perspective that Freddie had. Yeah. And it's probably fun to try new creative projects. Right. And when you're an artist, I feel like those are things that kind of light you up as like different creative opportunities. So. Yeah. So that was very cool to check that out. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed checking it out with us. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button for us. Leave us a comment. Give us some insights. Anything that we might have missed. We appreciate that. Just keep it PG. Don't come in there and be a troll. Nobody likes to troll. They stay under the bridge. They don't come onto YouTube. And <laughs> so other than that, we got lots of different content on the channel, guys. We do music, obviously, but we do comedy, sports, and history and a little bit of military-based stuff as well. So uh, if you like checking out new content and you want to join us going forward, we drop two videos every single day and that means hopefully we see you tomorrow thanks for watching guys see you next time